my name is Patsy Wagner and I'm with stamps to die for.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I show you how to use some of the most amazing Stampin' Up! products on the market. Today I wanted to show you how to make this fun little intricate um, embellishment on this trick-or-treat card. I am using the suite from the holiday catalog. Um, this is the Stampin' Up! You can see mine is well loved. Whoops, that's not the cover either. Here we go. The holiday catalog. And I'm using the Toil and Trouble um, suite that's in the catalog on page 48. You can also find this at my online store and I'll provide a link in the description. Um, the Toil and Trouble suite contains this fun black cauldron witch's hat, little witch called the Cauldron Bubble. And it has a coordinating framelit, so everything you see that's highlighted in white can be cut out with a framelit. The Toil and Trouble designer paper is so fun. Um, we have some, oh, I'll show you the samples. Like everything, it's, it's much prettier in real life. So here we have the cauldron, some little spiders on the other side. You could use any time of the year. It's the Lucky Limeade um, polka dot. And here we have um, a black cat. On the other side, we have our little witch. And you can even cut out that little witch um, with your framelit there. Same with the black cauldron. We've got some pumpkins on one side, so you could use these through Thanksgiving, and a little witch's broom on the other. And apparently I love this color because this is the only piece I have left of this is um, the striped purple with the little Casper the Ghost on the other side. We have some starlights, some scary bats, a witch's hat, and again a frog. Now these frogs could be used other times of the year along like with this purple one. So you can get a package of assorted cardstock that goes with that, some black foil sheets, and I'm going to be talking more about the black glitter ribbon and the little spider trinklets. So let me go about showing you how I created um, this little embellishment. I started writing a blog post and I thought, you know what, it's sometimes easier just to show you than to tell you. So one of the main features in this is the um, layering all those framelits. They come with 15 different ovals that you use in your Big Shot die, or you could use them in a cuddle bug if you have a cuddle bug. Um, they've got coordinating scallops that go with the straight edge. For my project, I used one of the larger scallops to cut out this pumpkin pie scallop oval, and then I cut out this to cut out the stars. And then I cut out a whisper white circle. And from that, I used the Hometown Greeting Edgelets. I love this edgelet set and was so excited when it was carried over from last year's 2017 holiday catalog. It's got a little tag topper you can use for the tops of, to create tops of a tag, some star cutouts. Um, along with the die that I'm going to use, this one has a little church in it. This one looks like a neighborhood. Now you kind of think of this as more a holiday um, thing, but what I did is I laid this um, die on my pre-cut oval and ran it through the Big Shot so it came out like this. Well, it saved me from having to cut that off. So I'm going to punch out these little extra items. Oh, I probably should have checked to make sure. Sometimes I have to run these through again, and I didn't check before I started punching. So I might have to take a moment. Oh no, they're all coming. Sometimes with these more intricate dies, um, you know, I run them through the, the Big Shot twice and use a precision plate, um, which is kind of a foamy, not a really foam, but more forgiving than the plexi plates, and it helps you to cut out more intricately. Um, so this is, I'm going to punch these out. I should have probably pre-punched one so you didn't have to watch me do this, but this will give me a chance to tell you a little bit more about, um, you know, this project's products in the suite. 
Um, you don't have to use that necessarily for Halloween. It's just that a lot of things are designed for a particular holiday, like this ramlet was designed more for the Christmas holiday, but we've, you know, changed it. You could use it for almost any time of year. This, with the white, it looks like a little bit of snow. And in Minnesota, 90% of the time we do have snow during the holidays, excuse me, during Halloween. And so it's pr quite appropriate. Then what I did is I laid this die on top of my paper and traced around it. And I pre-cut these because you don't really need to swatch me tediously cut them. And then I'm going to just take my fine tip glue. And I'm going to just highlight a couple of little spots to put um, glue on here. And then we're going to adhere that crushed curry cardstock behind here that gives it that look of, you know, lights. Sometimes you have to, I have to go in and retrim these, which I should have checked before I went on my video. But that's okay. I'm so used to doing Facebook Lives now that I kind of forget I could actually edit this out. But you know what? You're going to see me just like I am. Um, as if you were at one of my classes in real life, you, can, you could see me do all these boo-boos too. So I'm going to go in and just trim up this side a little bit more. You can see how the hard part is it can't be too much or you'll see it through those windows. And so you can't trim off too much of it. That's the tricky part. So before I put glue on this one, I'm going to see how that one is. That one is almost perfect. I'm going to just trim a smidgen off this side right here. We're going to add our fine tip glue. I love the fine tip glue. Um, you have to be careful not to squeeze it too hard so you get, you know, it all over. But it works great for these little intricate pieces. We're going to, and it's, it's movable. You can kind of move it around, which sometimes I really need because I, you know, goof up. And so you do have to kind of hold it for a minute or so. Not a whole minute, but a few seconds. And now I'm going to trim this like this. And we're going to just let that um, dry for a moment. I need to get my snail adhesive out, which is my favorite adhesive. If you haven't tried snail, it takes a little learning curve, but they ha they're refillable. So you buy the whole thing originally and then you can just refill it. So I'm going to wait just a moment. I cut out a tree in green and one out of scrap in old olive. This project is for my Color Without Borders Challenge. Alice and my border buddy from Canada um, and I do a color challenge each month and we challenge each other to see what cards we can come up with particular colors. So now I'm going to just cover this one up here and then I'm going to stick just a little glue here and I'm going to set this tree beside it. Well, I did them opposite of my other one, but that's okay. Every card is unique. That's the beauty. Now I'm going to go in and put this on top of my circle. We're going to just lay this on top of my circle like this. And then we're going to Adhere this circle to the back of our oval, and that would go on our card like that. Now you see this little spider? Isn't that the cutest little spider? That is part of the Toils and Treats, Toils and Trouble uh, suite. Sometimes I make up my own name for these things because I can't remember them. But they're these little charms, so you can use them as a charm. I took off the little circle and then tied it with some of this metallic thread. Our metallic thread comes in silver, gold, champagne, and black. 
and I use a little just a little piece of poster putty I saw this from a demo friend Lisa Curcio how she just put a little piece of poster putty to keep it in place so you don't have all those loose ends and that's a great trick now your fine tip glue you want to be sure to put the cap back on it's got a little thing in so it never clogs up which is what I love because I'm sure you've had glue that clogs the tips so we've added that little um, spider there now I wrapped the ribbon around the back and created this little bow and I'm going to show you how I created that bow I have a, tu a very old um, tutorial showing how to create bows with a fork but one of my dear friends customers husband made this for me and I have asked my husband if he would be willing to make one for my customers um, so anybody placing a hundred dollar order or more on my online store in October will receive a modified version of this I'm gonna have him make it smaller because we don't, I, I rarely, this is as big as I usually get for my cards. And so you don't really need much more than that. But how you make a fun bow is you're going to wrap this with the loose tail around the back. You're going to come over the top. Now it might be hard to see this from the top. You're going to slide it underneath. And then you're going to bring this one around and go over the top like that. And then we're going to tie a knot on this back side. And with this, you get a perfect bow every time. So you can see here, and the knot's back here, and I'm going to just slide it off. And it's probably not showing up so good on that black. So, and you just cut your tails. And then I just used a glue dot to adhere it to the front of my card. But that's how you can get a perfect bow every time. I will show you once with it lying down and we'll see how that works. Um, so you put your ribbon around the back. You come up over the top of the ribbon. I leave it on the spool that way I don't waste as much. Then you're going to take the piece that's on the stool and go over the top. So now we're going to flip it over so you can see the back side. And then we're going to tie a knot in this back side. I love this black paper or ribbon with the organdy ribbon with the glitter and it's so fun and it it's going to go through Christmas. It'll make some fun New Year's cards. Um, oops, I kind of made a mess out of that one. So, and there we have another perfect bowl. So, if you would like to get a modified version of this, place an order of $100 or more at my online store at www.stampstodiefor.com. Just click on the little shopping cart and it'll take you to my online store. And I will send you out one of these free with your holiday cards that you receive the following month. So you can look more about my customer rewards on my website. And if you'd like a bow maker, Feel free to email me with questions. Have a wonderful day and happy stamping! Mm -hmm.